If you're like me, then you're probably wondering what the ending of the game is Vaughnville. Who did it? Was it multiple people or just one person? So here's the ending and it's kind of disappointing. I was actually really close, I felt. Um, just letting you know, like, I will be spoiling it now. I knew the Count and Miss Potter were close. I didn't know how close. Like, was it a relationship or just really good friends? I think it was a relationship. I knew that Miss Potter poisoned Mr. Potter with the mushroom soup, as he was the only one who had it also. And Miss Potter had a thing for a type of poisonous mushroom. I did give up though. I was searching around for ages and I will credit everyone that I got the info on in order to get the answer. So yeah, I hope you enjoy my video and subscribe because it's my first ever video. All you have to do is go to Q's. Let's see what you got. Detective Martini. So, obvious spoilers. It is Count. Interesting choice, Detective Martini. May so, I ask you to why? Protect someone. Again, Count. Are you sure, Detective Martini? And why? To protect someone. And lastly, Count. Interesting again. choice, Detective Martini. To May I ask someone. you why? Who they were trying to protect it was Miss Potter because they saw Miss Potter poison. Uh, Mr. Potter. Tell us, Detective Martini, from what so, was he trying to protect her? The victims witnessed something. What did they witness, Detective they saw Martini? The murder of Mr. Potter. Oh my goodness, how did she kill him? And she poisoned him with the mushrooms. Even though in the morgue, the woman said that he had a head injury so i'm not what, sure what that's about great job detective martini so yeah that's the ending and i'll do it without me in it so you can have a good watch of that let me know what you thought and see ya The bitter end of this dance had come, in a city that had seen too much of the bitter and too little of the end. The truth was as twisted as the city's dark alleys, a lurid tale of love and murder hidden beneath the shining facade of vaudeville. Count Graveson, a man of charm and cunning with a sinister shadow trailing behind his lofty status. He was the maestro behind the untimely end of Haley Greenwood, Maria Jansen, and Nicola Grossman. A dancer, a socialite and a businessman whose lives were silenced not because of their own sins, but because they bore witness to another's. They'd seen a venomous love story unfold, the poisoning of Mr. Potter, a man as cruel as the city was bright. The hand that delivered his death was none other than his wife's, Mrs. Potter, a woman whose sorrow had been as silent as her resolve was deadly. India had given her more than exotic sights, it had given her the means to free herself from the chains of abuse. And Count Graveson, a noble by title, a murderer by action, he had shielded her out of love. A love as profound as it was perilous. Graveson was crafty, as cunning as a fox and twice as deadly. He had spun a web of deception using tools as disparate as their owners. A stiletto, a manticore, and a butcher knife. Each item carefully chosen, each crime scene meticulously staged, all to paint a chilling picture. A picture that pointed away from him. A finger of accusation resting on innocent souls. Graveson was a puppeteer, pulling the strings from behind the curtains, while chaos played out on the stage of vaudeville. My heart was heavy with the grim resolution, yet there was a sliver of relief. Peace had been restored to vaudeville, its dark secrets exhumed for the world to see. The city could breathe again, and for a moment so could I. A city of laughter and tears, of science and superstition, of progress and decay, had its curtain drawn for a brief intermission. But peace is fleeting, especially in a world on the brink. As I made my way towards the train station, my time in this city drawing to an end, the familiar hum of vaudeville was interrupted. 
A menacing rumble roared overhead, the echo of fighter planes slicing through the city's troubled sky. They were an ominous reminder that another act was about to begin on a stage much larger in a war far grimmer.